Alberta's seven-month pause on new renewable projects is coming to an end, and as it does, the province is placing new rules and restrictions on where green power projects can be built. CTV's Annie Bergeron-Oliver on the power clash. For years, Alberta has been the go-to place for renewable energy projects, but industry experts fear new government policies could slow that momentum. A slower pace of development and probably slightly higher prices for Albertans uh, in renewable energy would be two big outcomes. Starting March 1st, the Alberta government is introducing 35-kilometer buffer zones around what it calls protected areas and pristine viewscapes where wind projects cannot be built. Projects on Crown land will now be reviewed on a case-by-case -case basis, and new renewables cannot be built on the most fertile agricultural lands without a clear plan for how the project can safely coexist with crops and livestock. We need to ensure that we're not sacrificing our future agricultural yields or tourism dollars or breathtaking viewscapes to rush renewables developments through. The government says its new agriculture first changes will lay the framework for a more affordable and reliable energy grid. Renewables have a place in our energy mix, but the fact remains that they are intermittent and unreliable. They are not the silver bullet for Alberta's electricity needs, and they are not the silver bullet of electricity affordability. But environmental experts say the Premier's framing is misguided. We need to make sure that we continue to develop our least expensive forms of energy so that uh, Albertans can have uh, some affordability back in their lives. Dan Balaban heads one of the largest renewable developers in Alberta. There still will be projects, uh, but uh, probably not nearly as many. He says today's change is part of a battle between Alberta and Ottawa over net zero goals. Ultimately, what ended up happening is the renewable energy industry's uh, been caught in the crossfire. And uh, I don't think that's fair. Renewable energy is a business. Another one of the changes is that developers will now be responsible for putting up money to pay for the eventual cleanup costs of their renewable energy projects. Annie Bergeron-Oliver, CTV News, Ottawa.